Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually the morning. I know I already say I always say good morning and it's never morning, but now it's actually morning. With Bond's daddy, Hello. we're back. Oh, yeah. I'm done ice fishing with Parrot oh, yeah. and we're back and better than ever. Ready to go back down to the farm. You guys, I like a lot of you guys were requesting, like, hey, I remember when Flair's channel was a fishing channel. What the hell happened? All he's doing is trapping raccoons. Uh, give me the fishing video. So I uploaded one fishing video, and half the comments were like, hey, go back to the farm and check the traps. So I'm back, going back to the farm, gonna check the traps, but we gotta run to the wall of Mart and uh, get some items. Like, it's just been, it's been a grind trying to catch all these things, the raccoons, the possums, the beavers, especially. That's really what our mission is today, is beavers. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna trap any today, but we're gonna set out a ton of traps. But we gotta run to Walmart and get all the bait. Basically, we're gonna try some new stuff. We've tried a lot of other things, some tuna, some salmon, some fish, some dog food. But we're gonna try some different stuff. We're gonna get some honey buns, some honey, some syrup. I've been watching a lot of Kendall Gray, and uh, he's been showing me some tips and stuff, so we're gonna see what we can find. There we go, we get the big pack. Nine pack. You think that'll work? Oh yeah. I think it'll work. Some Lunkers TV stuff, we'll see. Everybody's been commenting, hey, Rob catches them all the time with honey buns, so we'll give it a shot. So another issue we're having at the farm is mice in the camper. Kai Dog said that he saw some droppings. Um, so, I don't know if I like those. I know you don't, that's why it's funny. Okay, all right, we'll get one pack, we'll get one pack. But just, they scare me, dude. I've always wondered this. You poison them, where do they die? In your house and then rot and yeah. then smell? What the, why would you do it? Watch it, you're in, your, you're in the line, you're in the line. Why would somebody just poison them and let them go run anywhere and then die and then rot? Like, what, who, who thought that was a good idea? Well, if you put them in like a shed, you don't care. Maybe they don't put I mean, these I kind of care. House. I don't want to walk into like a mouse cemetery. Okay, we won't get these ones. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying like, <laughs> why wouldn't you just kill them and get rid of them? Like, I just, I've never understood the concept. Maybe I'm missing something. Let me know in the comments, but never understood the poison because it's like well they're just gonna rot somewhere in your house and stink well we decided to try something different i was just walking on the south thinking hmm so they like sweet stuff is what i've been told in in the comments you guys have told me that raccoons like sweet stuff and then they like you know peanuts and and honey buns and what else dog food and basically raccoons just like good sweet food so i'm thinking what about getting some trail mix putting some trail mix inside the dog proofs because we got dried cranberries and then we have peanuts, and then we have chocolate and peanut butter. Like, I don't know, I would, I would like that. I think it's pretty sweet. I think the smell would be pretty good. So we're gonna try doing a little bit of that. And we're also gonna get, let's get some cat food. A lot of people were saying cat food's the move because it smells more like fish. Yeah. We have to get some cat food, and then some maybe honey. And I have fish oil. So we got and syrup. And syrup. Dude, this could be the move. What, you think they're, you think they're Smuckers guys, or, or Hershey? Or Great Value. I think they, you think they like do they, do you think they ball on a budget like me? And they just want to rip on Probably. some great value. Yeah. That's pretty sweet smelling. Oh, yeah. I don't know. We're going to try it. We're going to get some different things. Or power move honey barbecue. <laughs> what do you some think? Franks. Some Franks. Oh, dude, we need, I need some yeah, Franks in my life. Ball. We got we to gotta stock up. Where's a uh, big one right there? Wing sauce. Yeah. You, guys know what, you guys know the drill. All right. We'll get some peanut butter for the mice. So I feel like mice might be, might be a little bit of, might want some crunch. Think they want some crunch? Maybe. Everybody loves a little crunchy nut in their life, so we'll get that. But all right, we'll get some butter. We'll do that. This is the old Kendall Gray special. It's not any. Was he? He uses like KFC or something. But we'll just roll. We'll rock some great value. We're not gonna give him that nice of stuff. What do we get? Fancy feast. Uh, beef and liver. Okay. Fish and shrimp. Okay. And liver and chicken. Perfect. That concludes the Walmart shopping spree. I'll see you guys at the farm. She's a little dirty. We made it, finally, to the farm. And uh, I finally named this guy, okay? You guys, if you guys are new to the channel, this is the new camper. Very new, as you can tell. It looks, it's in great, great condition. Just a absolute beauty. But I finally named it, okay? Now, there was a lot of good comments, and, uh, but this was the first one that I saw that I was like, dude, that's good. That's like really, really good. This camper is now called the Flare B&B after Airbnb. I thought it was funny. You guys might be like, oh, that's kind of lame. I think it's pretty funny because it's it's a camper and it's just, I don't know. It, it was just unique and it just, it was good. It just fit. For some reason, it just it just fit. There's like I said, there's a lot of good ones, but this one fit. This is the Flare b, &B. If you guys haven't seen it, she is an absolute freaking beauty. Look at her. Super cleaned up. Oh yeah. There's some couple little mouse droppings around here, but not not too terrible. 
But today, as you can tell, we gotta go set up a bunch of traps. I also got like a new 22 we could sight in. Uh, I got a crossbow we can go shoot some stuff with. I got some boom boom we can go blow some stuff up with. But we gotta go check. We've got a couple traps out, not, not many. Honestly, we didn't set much. There's a couple traps out that we gotta go check, and then we've got a lot to set. I mean, like, a lot. We're probably gonna put out like 30 traps today in, in hopes that we can, can catch some stuff. So you guys just sit back and relax and enjoy the farm vlog. Well, we're gonna start off the day with a little gunfire. This right here is gonna be the new raccoon slash squirrel slash rabbit slash everything killer right here. Just a new a little little 22 brand new. I uh, didn't have one so figured we'll uh, pick this guy up and we got sighted in real quick and then uh, then we're gonna start setting the traps. And the reason why we're sighted in first is because while we're checking traps, setting traps, we might see something that we might want to shoot. So you always want to be prepared. Well, we got it pretty much somewhat dialed. We're gonna really dial it in now, and then we should be good to go. That's money. Right on. Yeah. Time to go set some traps. Well, we'll see. Nope, nothing. Nothing in that dog proof. And uh, what? Dude, the mice. There, everything's gone, all the food's gone, no way. but there's mouse, that's all mouse poop in there. Dude, the mouse. You brought the traps, right? Brought the traps. We put Ooh. them in there. Ooh, we're my half, dude. We got a, we got a, that. we got a mouse problem, folks. So I was thinking of a great idea. Stick a mouse trap in the coon trap. And then that way, if mouse goes in there, gets caught, maybe the coon sees the mouse in there, goes after the mouse. I don't know. We'll see if it works. We're going to, basically we have a mouse problem. So we got to, I don't know, we got to figure something out here, but one other trap over there. And it looks like there's nothing in there. So um, we got to reset all these guys. You guys saw all the stuff that we bought. We're going to reset them. We're going to put honey buns in all of them for sure. I feel like that's kind of a move. Put some mouse traps in a couple of them. But uh, let's get started. All right. So instead of showing you guys each individual trap that we're doing as we're doing it, I'm going to set them and then show you what we did. So this one here, we've got trail camera live trap. We're rocking honey bun, sprinkled cat food, maple syrup, and fish oil. I mean, we're going overkill on this one. And then here we got a dog proof. This is what we've come up with. It's a little corn cob. So now you can put you can put cans over it, golf balls, corn cob, and then you put honey on the corn cob. Kind of kind of soaks it in a little bit. Leave the wrappers on for attractant, and then we filled it with some kitty food and sprinkle some around. Anchored it down right there. Right here, we're dealing with honey bun and honey on top of it. We got trail cam inside. We've got a can here that we just had for you know attractant. And then we have two mouse traps in there. Austin's Austin's. He said on this whole mouse trap thing, he thinks if you trap a mouse, the raccoon will go in there and try to eat it, and you'll get two for one. Because we're having issues with the mice. So that's one there. Right here, we got another dog proof. Again, honey on the corn cob, set it on top. We should put some trail mix. This has some Reese's peanut butter cups, some dried cranberries, some almonds, some peanuts. I think that'll work. And then put some, we've also taken fish oil and just kind of sprayed it around here. Just to, uh, just kind of get a feeding frenzy. Some of you guys might be thinking we're putting too much food out, but... There's so many raccoons out here. Honestly, if we had an entire family come by, wouldn't be a bad idea. Now we gotta rip down. That way, we're gonna set up some more dog proofs, another live trap, and then uh, we gotta go check on the beavers. Our, our friends, the beavers. Yeah, we got we got an issue with those guys. We gotta, we gotta figure that out. So the other thing we have, other than just some raccoons and traps, is this guy. This is a squirrel trap. It's called the Squirrelinator. Not to get free promo, but we're gonna see if it works. I don't know. We've seen a couple squirrels. There's not that many. So we're gonna set this guy up and uh, and try to catch them. But we might try to hunt some squirrels later today. I don't know. I mean, well, it's just, it's a nice day. We're setting iron hoodies and uh, we're just gonna explore everything. But we're gonna set this guy up. Basically, you just set it on the ground, put some stuff, put some food in it, and they run inside of it. But we're gonna go next to these tall trees in hopes that some squirrels are repping around here. I think that's probably our, our best bet. But so for food, let me see, let me see what, we're, what are we rocking. This is the Deluxe Indulgent Trail Mix. Blend of dried cranberries, almonds, milk chocolate, peanut butter cups, cashews, and dried cherries. So it's sweet and nuts. Every squirrel likes nuts. Everybody likes nuts. Give her a little dangle in there. Sprinkle some in there. Oh, yeah. Woo! All right, folks. We finally made it. Um, yeah, it doesn't look that bad because I went really slow, but definitely sauced up the old tundra again. 
It was an entire mudslide. I went like a half a mile an hour the entire time, but we made it. That's more important. Oh, it's a little frozen, but check this out, folks. I think, I think we're slowly winning the fight. Look how shallow this is now. Dude, I've never seen it this low in my entire life. Look, you can almost, like the water, for those of you guys that, like that's the bank, the water was pretty much right to here, where it was almost gonna flood this field and that's why we're trapping the beavers. Now it's super low, like you can see the channel now. This was before it was just ripping. So I'm curious to see what the dam looks like. We're out here, I'm gonna set this dog proof up. This is, this is the dog proof that caught our first coon ever. So lucky dog proof, we're gonna just give her a nice little steak down right here. We'll get it rolling with some cat food for sure. Get them all around it. Fill her on up. Now I've read a lot of stuff about putting it below the trigger, above the trigger. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comments down below. Can you catch them by filling it up to the top? Like I know Kendall Gray does, but all these directions say using DP traps, set DP trap, then fill just below the trigger. So comment down below, help me out. All right, Junior, what's it looking like? You fixed it all again. It's still going a little bit, but not, not like it was. Oh, wow. That's new. Where the hell is that coming from? That is no Hang on. I said, hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. Bro, that's under the ground. Where is this coming from? What the hell? Where would... Like, it, it's up there. Is there, there must be a, there must be a tunnel. Where is that going? So do you think they like made a I don't know, did they there? make an, they made, do you think they made an underground tunnel through here? Hang on, folks. We just discovered something here. Where is this coming from? Bro, it's ripping. This is brand new. We've never seen this before. What the heck? wonder where that goes to. Where does that come from? Maybe we can see where that water's going. I don't know. Oh, they plugged all that. That's all new. Hey, dude, they plugged their old hole. Really? It's plugged. So right here is where we trap. Dude, it's it's completely plugged. It's like they knew we had been trapping, and they just completely like it's abandoned. Like it's com there used to be a giant hole right there, and that's where we set that trap. That's out of the water right now. We didn't reset it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at this, it's completely, here, actually leave it for Jake. Jake needs to see this. This just got real uh, challenging. Cause the spot we were gonna come and trap them, they're not using it, clearly. It's completely clogged. Yeah, we should leave that so Jake can see cause maybe he'll know. I don't know, maybe he'll, his freaking beaver senses will start tingling or something. But, oh my gosh. For those guys who don't know, this is their hut. And that was a tunnel. We set traps right here, no luck. Set one right there, caught the first one. If you guys can see the video, you should check it out. But they plugged it completely and now, we don't know where, where else would they be? That almost looks like that could be a start of something, but it's not an established hut and I don't see any slides. There's a, there's a few slides. We might need to go over there and investigate that. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding. They fixed this too. Look how fresh this mud is. Don't sink. Right here, look how fresh this is. That's a new tree line. Fresh boys. AF, boys. That's a new tree line. Yeah. That's the one they cut. Look at the end of it. Yeah. They just cut a job. They put it right here. So up over there, there's been a tree that's been like eaten at. Like half of it was eaten. It was really, really fresh. Today, it was finally gone. That's it. You can see the end of it. It's, it still has the light golden brown. That means it hasn't been dead very long. So they literally dragged an entire tree right here to dam this up. This is war, okay? I am... Okay, we're gonna give it one more week. I'll, I'll, I'll promise you guys this. A lot of you guys are saying, just, just blow it up. Well, obviously, if you blow it up, they come and fix it. One week, we're setting up as many traps as we can get our hands on. Bring in Trap Lord Jake. He's gonna help us. If, I'm telling you, if we can't kill him all this week, I'm taking boom, boom, and blowing this entire section to smithereens. And I don't know. I'm gonna get a can, canister of napalm. I, we're gonna do something, because this is ridiculous. They drug a, they drug a full-grown tree all the way up there. So the, the tree was cut down up, actually it was right there. Tree was cut down on the other side by the corn and drug all the way down here. Austin's gonna kick this out just to get him active. Yeah. We'll see. Dude, this is bad. This is, this is so bad. So this was what I was talking about. Look at this. 
I mean, they've just been, and they're about, they're about to smoke this other one. Yeah. Look at them, they just chew through all this. This is the big one that they used to plug the other dam up. They're about to knock this, look how big that tree is, dude. They're about to knock this whole thing down. Oh. Oh, it's coming in. <laughs> oh. Keep going. Come on, oh shoot. Oh shit! Oh, he just, dude, that just went in by my feet. You can see where it's all wet. Oh my gosh, I don't, that just made me really nervous, but I think we're gonna go. We got just a little ways down here and we'll see if we can find something. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. That's a beaver hut, my friend. Wow. So Kai Dog, Kai Dog dropped a pin, said, hey, might have found another beaver hut for you guys to go explore and maybe trap. And uh, this is actually like right by our duck hunting spot. Our duck hunting spot's just right down yonder. So this is a lot closer to the farm than where we've been trapping beavers. But this is, and this is fresh. I mean, it hasn't rained. You can tell it's dry here. This is all fresh, yeah. all fresh mud. So where's their entrance? Let's find that. So we need a, I bet it's right. It looks like it could be under that tree. So now we got another one. If you guys didn't think, I was making enough beaver videos while well, it's about to get a lot worse. Whew, finally, 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 finally. Unfortunately, Trap Lord Jake was not able to make it out today. Um, we actually just stopped by his house. He helped us set some of those 330s up that we've got right in here. These guys, these are the brand new traps. I know they're not rusty like they should be, yada, 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 yada. And obviously, sun's going down. We don't have a lot of time. We gotta haul some butt to try to get these traps out. We've been running around all stinking day trying to figure out where to put stuff, how to do it, this and this and that. So we're gonna go out, set as many of these three days as we possibly can, and hope that we catch a beaver. This is the last spot. I think this is gonna work. We put the 330 right here, we dug a trench, put it in the gap. As you can tell, it's flowing pretty dang good. In order to fix this dam, they have to go by that trap. I hope this works. The next day. And no beaver. Nice. Nothing. Not a dang thing right there, son. That's a bummer. Well, so far we are 0 for 2. We're yeah, 0 for 2. We got one more to check. Oh, dude, that's a big one too. No way. No way. Yes. Yesterday. Remember? Remember last night I was like, "Hey, this is the one I'm super confident in." I'm cuz the way we built it, the way it looked, everything was perfect. Jake, Look. Jake's going to be proud of it. Yeah, that was all by ourselves, dude. We didn't even have to use Trap Lord Jake for our help. Actually, we did. He set all the traps for us. We just put them in place. Yeah. Shout out to Trap Lord Jake. We I physically could not set the traps. We have to like bend the wire and put it on. I, I physically couldn't. Jake did it, and then we came out here and set them all up. So it's, it's a 50-50. I'll share it with you, Jake. Really do appreciate the help, but you know what that means, baby? Beaver, Beaver. catch and cook. Yeah. Oh, dude, so that's one of the big ones, right? Yeah. Or is it, an, is it a smaller one? I would say that's the same size as the first one we caught. I would think so. And this is, our, this is our brand new trap. You can tell it's not even rusted. Yes. Also, we did not boil these or do any of the that stuff that you guys have to do. So not that I was really proving a point, but point proven you don't have to do it this was the one i was super confident in it just everything looked perfect yes baby oh if you guys have been tuning into the channel you guys know it's been an absolute struggle to get these beavers caught we've caught one now we've caught two and it's been an absolute war i mean we're driving by the way this farm that the, the farm here is like an hour and a half from my house so as much as you see us down here we're going through tanks and tanks and tanks of gas trying to get rid of these suckers while it's fur bear season so that way when kyle plants all the crops for the fields not, we don't have to worry about it getting flooded so we're i mean we're just it's a race it's a race against time right now this guy's heavy but that's i would say that's about the same size i don't yeah. know i think that first one might have been bigger might have been a little bigger i think the, the head might have been a little bit bigger well we're gonna head back to the house then <laughs> we literally came down here to check the traps and now we gotta drive an hour back and cook it we i, I would have brought the stuff to cook it down here but I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. Like if I might just fry it or we might do a couple things. I might do a couple different recipes because there's gonna be some decent meat on this guy, you know, enough to try some different stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna shut up. I'll see you guys at the house. Let's try to skin a beaver. 
Uh, if you guys want to see actually how to skin it the proper way in a really good way, I'll link that video down below. Uh, Jake actually did it. This is going to be uh, Flair is going to do his best while freezing his butt off. Hands are halfway numb uh, episode. So you guys just enjoy. So what you're going to do is just cut it into it. Kind of just do like a dairy kind of cut from all the way down here all the way up past its jaw. Probably should be wearing gloves. Didn't bring any gloves, so not wearing gloves. So after you kind of have them cut, you just basically just grab on and just do this and you just kind of just flush them out i don't know if that's a proper term for beer uh trapping but we're just gonna go with that because it sounds right just go and go all layer down basically go around this side go around this side and then once you get around you can pretty much just rip off his back but i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of get going and I'll, I'll i'll update you guys if uh anything changes well folks i'm taking the back strap off here here's the back strap and then there's actually some meat right here on the rib so we've got this whole thing cut out here and you just kind of hold it and then just kind of fillet it fillet it back like this and you're gonna end up with a nice big chunk of meat for whatever i don't know however you want to cook it we're gonna we're gonna try a couple different things we'll see what see what we end up doing but i just want to show you this is what it looks like i already took this side out and then this side right here looks about like that it's actually quite a bit of meat on this little guy right here but for now we're just gonna take off the back straps we're gonna we're gonna take the legs off and stuff. I don't know if we're gonna cook them in the same way. Maybe we'll fry them. That could be a move. We could always fry the legs, but I think we're gonna try to put them in like a crock pot or something. But the back straps is what I've heard is the best, so we're gonna focus on those. We'll try to eat some other pieces too, just so it doesn't go to waste. Hey, what's on your feet? Boy, if you don't, bro, these are the new Christmas kicks. <laughs> you can't hate. You can't even hate, bro. For real. It's, on, it's in two right now. Honestly, it may get serious on aisle nine. <laughs> Might have to flip it to four wheel. You never know. We're at Walmart, folks. Time to go shopping. I don't think I'll have a blowout, though. I think I'm all right. What do you guys think? New trap, trap suit? I like it. First item, we're going to get this guy. This is a Tyson beef roast with vegetables and complimentary seasoning bag of boneless beef chicken roast. You know, but we're not going to use the chuck roast. What did you acquire? I got Frank's. Okay, so we got we got both. Yep. So what Austin, is, Austin and I decided to do is we're actually gonna do two different recipes. We're gonna do one, like a beef roast, and then we're gonna do another one, like the typical flare style, which I say flare style, but I don't mean that I made it up. It's just the one I always use, which is Frank's Red Hot and some hot oil deep fried. So we're gonna do a little bit of half and half. Use it one back strap deep fried, one back, or one back strap for the roast, and we're gonna see which one tastes better. Just in case the roast is bad, I know the Franks will always come in clutch. And we want to try both. We want to see which one we like better. So that's what we got so far. We got oil, and I think that's pretty much it. A few moments later. Yeah, it's recording. Yeah. What, are you going to be my director now or what? <laughs> well, it's a director of the that. kitchen. Oh, you dropped, dropped one already. Dropped the first Rick, piece. you had one job. Oh, well, I decided to go to a different route. This whole okay. operation. Oh, yeah. Go. Well, here we go, folks. We are cooking in the kitchen, and uh, this guy is going to go in the deep fat fryer, and we already got a bunch of the meat in here. And we're gonna make a little roast, like a pot roast type deal, but with beaver. And then we're gonna fry some up with Frank's. So that thing's ready to rock and roll, put the lid on it, insta cook it for about an hour, and then get these guys all seasoned up. I'll show you guys how to do that here in a second. And uh, ooh, ooh, get yourself some. I think this is gonna taste better than the way you're the doing fry? it there. See, I think it's the other way. I don't think Frank's can be beat. Frank's is, un it's undefeated right now. Frank's is undefeated right now. I think I can't lose the streak. I just so. think this way, how you're cooking it, like slow, it'll make the meat more, more tender, tender probably, yeah. and there's more seasoning and other things to cover All up right, the we'll, game. We'll but see. Yeah. We'll let Macy make the decision on which one tastes better. Nope, that's you guys. <laughs> Whoa. Well, folks, we're getting the old beaver fried up. We got, we got room for one last little nug. That's a full frying pan, son. I'm pretty shocked at how much, compared to that, that raccoon was about the same size as the beaver and gave me about that much meat. This gave me an entire crock pot and an entire skillet. And there were still probably some bits that I could eat that just had a ton of fat on it. Um, but that's pretty much what we got to work with here. And, uh, oh, hang on, we got a little nug. Drop him in there, don't forget you, little guy. 
We're gonna let these guys fry up. We did some franks, some flour, salt, pepper. And again, fry these up, and then we're gonna put them to the test against the roast. The roast is probably gonna take about 45 minutes or so. So we're gonna let these kind of both cook, put them side by side, and we'll have a taste test for you guys to let you guys know what is the best way to cook your beaver. Okay, let's see it. Ready? Beaver! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, I should do this for a living. Probably yeah, pays pretty well. Finn, Richard. <laughs> All right, well, what are, we, what are we going in first? We have right here. We can go to the OG. Chopped up, Franks. Uh, they're different pieces. There's some back strap, there's some legs, there's different stuff. And then here, we got some nice roast. Um, not, roast. Not sure if the meat's done or not, but maybe it's behind the lens if you get nauseous or anything. Just That's, that's the reason. That was mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, boys. Uh, no, no, no. Let's not do the OG first. Because okay. that might that might tarnish the okay. taste buds. True, true, true. I don't think that's the right order. But, um, so the beaver roast first. Bony apple feet. Only only meat. Can't get any potatoes in it for the first okay. bite. Oh, it's t super tender. It's okay. hot. Yeah, it may be too hot, honestly. Too hot? Taste it. Really? I dig it. Wow. Honestly, like, if you didn't tell me this was beaver, I'd no. just say it's, it. Just, it it's tastes beef. like a roast. It yeah. tastes like beef. Yeah, it does taste like beef. It's not like, it's really tender. It's not like it's, yeah. it fall, it, like, it's falling apart. I don't think you, I'd be able to tell it either mm -hmm. if no one said anything. Mm -hmm. There's like no, There's no game. Way. There's no game and it actually tastes like the, the texture is mm -hmm. identical. No? I'm impressed with this. All right, next. Like Everybody it. has to try at least two pieces because like, you, I've, I've had squirrel and had bad pieces, but like mm -hmm. squirrel tastes good, you know? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. just grabbed a couple nugs. What do you think? Tastes like just meat. Yeah. yeah it doesn't taste gamey. Mm -mm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Bad. It's a lot like coon, but the meat's, the meat's not, better, as, no. not as chewy. Yeah, it tastes, so the, the taste of it, Reminds me of eating gizzards, fried gizzards. You guys ever had those? But this, on the other hand, just tastes like meat, kind of like gizzards does, but without the the chewiness. It's literally just like a chunk of beef. Yep. Yeah. If you were to take a chunk of beef and fry it up, basically, is it? Yeah. So like this one, this was a little tougher. Yeah. Like this melts in your mouth. Yeah. That one melts I gotta in your say, mouth. This one's a little tougher. I gotta say, if I was gonna go with yeah. one, this is That's how I'm doing I think so too. I was a little nervous, so eating just like. Straight up meat that hadn't been marinated. We didn't marinate it. We didn't season it. We literally just threw it in mm. the broth that it came with, and it tastes pretty good. Oh, this is this is really good, Finn. One bite. No, I gotta say, I'd eat beaver again. Probably would too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me like that. Yeah, you know, I gotta take a picture for Insta or Twitter for my tweet. <laughs> I would have to agree with that. I think the stew is, is this stew, Mace? Well, you guys get what I'm saying. It, it, it's, you, you saw what it is, you saw what it does, you saw, well, you saw our reactions of what it tasted like, and it was good. Like, actually good. It wasn't tough like the beaver. Um, even rabbit was tougher than this. This was, it was really tender and tastes really good, and you couldn't even tell. Even John. See, John, Austin and I, we, we always do these catch and cooks, and we're always like, it's really good, no matter what. But John's always like, bruh, ooh, I'm ooh, always keeping ooh, these too ooh, honest. Uh, ooh, I, I, don't know, I don't know, man. It just, uh, I don't know, it just it doesn't sound good. Uh, it's, just, it's, like a, it's like a beaver, bro. Like, uh, you know? Someone's got to, like, keep you guys, like, from just, you know. Just saying everything is good. Yeah, yeah, so. Like. It was actually good. Yeah. It was yeah. actually good. If John said it's good, I'm telling you guys, it's actually good. So if you get, do get a chance to catch some beaver, trap some beaver, uh, go ahead and eat it up. Eat at least the back straps and some of this was chunked off of the legs um i didn't really show any of that on video but i basically just you know sawed off some chunks threw it in there i didn't really get a bit that was different than one or the other so i don't think like the leg or the back strap really made a difference honestly for this so that was pretty good anyways we're gonna end this video if you guys enjoyed the catch and cook let us know what we should catch and cook next any other critters that you guys can think of comment them down below really do appreciate the view peace